Welcome back to Curls and Inspiration. I'm your girl, Kalisa91. And if this is your first time, then welcome to the family. It's great to have you. I hope you find something on my channel that you love and that you consider to subscribe. So today, I'm being a bum, which is, to be honest, probably my default. But more so today because my allergies have been acting a hot mess my anxiety is like to the roof and i've had it so i'm just like taking a chill day really which i shouldn't because i have so much work to do but let's not let, let's not talk about that anyways if you haven't noticed today is wednesday so you know what that means every other wednesday on this channel it's wild card wednesdays so for this Wildcat Wednesday, I thought I would bring back vision boards. Why? Um, a few weeks ago, I did a vision board. It was like an arts and craft kind of event. I did it with a friend. And I noticed that, hmm, some people are not very arts and crafty. They're not trying to cut up no pictures and put it on a board like some people don't got the time for that so i figured i would do a modified version of my board digitally so today on wildcat wednesday we're gonna do a digital vision board and if that's what you came to see then let's get into the video so what is a vision board a vision board is a collage of pictures and quotes that help to visualize the life that you want. There are two main types of vision boards. The first type of vision board is a lifestyle vision board. And this vision board will contain your long-term goals. So it can look something like this with your dream car, your dream house, your dream career or career goals, your family goals anything of that sort that you want to see in the long term concerning your life that would go on this board the second type is a yearly vision board which you can do every one to two years to place your short-term goal but ultimately the goals visualized in this vision board will help to guide you to your dream lifestyle on your lifestyle vision board so here are some reasons why doing a vision board is a great idea so firstly, vision boards help to clutter your mind. Secondly, they provide a visual representation of what your future goals are. And thirdly, they can help with motivating you on a daily basis and giving you something good to work towards. So how would you come up with ideas or themes for your vision board? So the way I come up with ideas for my vision board is to set like the main topics for that vision board and my main themes. So for this video or for this um, vision board, I'm looking at education, health, fitness, relaxation, and social media growth. So once I have the overall topic, then I will add specific things that I really want to look for under that topic, which helps me or guides me when I'm trying to find a certain picture. Now, where would you find pictures? So you can find pictures using Google and that's what I did in my previous um, vision board video. But for this video, we're gonna use Pinterest for the digital version. If you type vision board into Pinterest search engine, you will see a lot of vision board ideas. I usually use this to find quotes and when I find a quote I like, I will save it to a board but since I don't have a vision board on here yet I will create one and the image will automatically save to it then I'll continue looking for as many quotes as I want and then move on to my actual topic pictures then I will go ahead and search for images as I make my way down my topic list which I showed earlier and I will continue to save those images to my vision board board on Pinterest. Just on a side note, Tiana Taylor's body is fire, guys. Like, 
what in the world? So for me, I'm on the skinnier side and I have more of an athletic body type. And so her body is body goals for me. Just say, just, just say. Okay, let's just continue the rest of the tutorial. So now that I've found all the quotes and pictures that I need for my vision board, this is what the board looks like on Pinterest. And now you might be wondering, how do I go ahead and make this digital vision board after getting my images into Pinterest? Let's do that next. Okay, so now that I have all my images or my desired images saved into one board on Pinterest, now I can go ahead and download each image individually onto my PC. To make the actual vision board, I use Canva. Frankly, I use Canva for everything from YouTube thumbnails to video images. So Canva is life. <laughs> when you get into Canva, you can search desktop wallpaper and choose a blank template. Then I can take all the images that I just downloaded from Pinterest and drag them into Canva. Now, once the images are done loading into Canva, I can start placing my pictures where I want them. But Canva has grids. So if you want or if you don't want your pictures to overlap, then you can go ahead and use one of the grids that they already have. Um, so your pictures can be orderly. But <laughs> I love a little bit of chaos. So I'm not going to use the grids. Instead, I'm going to start placing my pictures for my topics and themes first. I will resize them to my desire and then I will try spacing them out in a way that I can place at least one quote between each picture. Once I'm done placing my pictures, I will fill in the blank spaces with the quotes. Then I will go ahead and readjust the positions of the pictures as needed. Once everything is done, I will save the image in a PNG format from Canva onto my computer. Then right click on the image, select set desktop picture and voila! Every time I open my laptop now, I am reminded of my goals and motivated to work on them. I hope you enjoyed and liked this video and I hope you consider to subscribe. I will see you in the next Wildcard Wednesday video.